Hi, my name is Ben, and I'm a marketing coordinator. I was using MRI and switched to ERD Voyager. Please click, click below for more videos. So MRI software and Yardi Voyager both solve many problems for my organization. We are in the real estate space, so uh, we require a, a dynamic software to be able to help us manage our apartment and commercial uh, real estate properties. We also are a full stack accounting um, company as well, provide accounting services and MRI and Yardi Voyager both solve for many of our accounting and budgeting needs. Yardi Voyager is best for you implementing a full range of accounting and real estate processes. It solves for all of your budgeting and general ledger needs. It also helps you to effectively manage the resident life cycle in the multifamily space from entering in guest cards to uh, moving people in to monthly billing to move outs and deposit accounting. MRI is best utilized for accounting and real estate management from monthly budgeting to uh, re uh, reporting on accounting um, as well as a full stack property management system from the uh, multifamily to commercial spaces. Additionally, uh, MRI has delved into the partner uh, space where they're looking to bring in many different um, companies that can provide additional services to the accounting and real estate industry that they typically wouldn't envision. So getting start with either MRI software or Yardi Voyager is honestly not a very easy process only because uh, there's a lot that's going to encompass into uh, in a project. Uh, however, I'll put a caveat there is if you put what into it, what you need to get out, out of it. So if you're simply implementing a, an accounting uh, stack of, of programs, that's going to be a little bit easier than implementing a full range of their products. And that's again with both MRI software or the RD Voyager. Uh, both products in my experience, both companies, both projects um, were very organized. Uh, again, a lot of stuff goes into um, that actual project planning to the implementation to the rollout. So easiness, I would say, not very easy. However, again, the, the amount of work that's going to go into that is going to depend on your project needs. So the top considerations that go into looking for a accounting or property management software really are going to be uh, a how many um, you know what's the scope of what you need to solve for this in terms of how many properties do you have um, how many accounting clients do you have um, you know what are your day-to-day -day processes do you just uh, produce financial statements for real estate uh, investors or are you managing you know, hundreds or thousands of uh, residential units. Are you managing commercial spaces? Um, all of that's going to go into uh, considering, you know, what you want to put into these systems, what you want to get out of them. Another thing you need to consider is timeline and really the, ex the, the experience, the current experience that your current users have with your current property management or accounting software and really what that realistic timeline is going to be so that you can set expectations internally with your users and also set expectations with your project team. If you're you know, looking to implement a software towards the end of the year, you gotta factor in other things like that are gonna be outside of the project timeline. Um, you also need to factor uh, integrations. Uh, MRI software while they have a lot of different integrations that are willing to work with a lot of different partners, uh, a lot of those integrations are really in their infancy. Whereas with Yardi Voyager, Yardi uh, seems to be, in our experience, a lot more well integrated with current existing integrations rather than ones that have to be built out, uh, which has been our experience with MRI software. Um, and, and lastly, you really just need to maybe look at the the, team, the project teams and the, your kind of comfortability with each organization. Both um, systems have a lot of similarities 
uh, and accomplish a lot of the same things. Uh, however, you know, just get a feel for the project teams and get a feel for your, the sales process. And are they really listening for your needs or are they looking to uh, really just get you on board and then add you to a, as another, you know, part of their um, part of their client base. So that's very important as well because you're going to be in it for the long haul with these organizations, whichever organization you choose. And you want to make sure that you're feeling comfortable with the overall uh, product and services they're going to be providing.